Hi guys! Welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time since I did this. So if you don't know me and you're new to the channel, my name's Diane. I'm part of UK Disney Vlog, part of a family of vloggers. So myself, my husband, my two children and crazy granddad. He's got a little bit of a following right now. Um, so we are crazy mad Disney fans that have not been to Orlando in forever, since 2019. Obviously, due to the situation, none of us have been out there. Um, we are a family that just love it. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. We absolutely love going to Disney and we do try and go as much as we can. Um, I think the latest global pandemic does a bit of a favour because we probably couldn't have afforded a trip um, the last in 2020. So in 2020, we were, not, we weren't planning on going out to Orlando, so we wouldn't have had any footage or content for you guys. But let's have a drum roll, please. As the title suggests, this is a trip announcement. Woo! We're finally doing it. We're finally heading on a plane to Orlando, and we have got two trips booked. Not just one. We have two trips booked. So this trip is about. Sorry, not this trip. This announcement is about the first trip that we've got booked. Um, it's gonna be a little bit different from the last series that we had out in 2019. So this trip is going to be in January, just the first week after Christmas. Myself and David are heading to Orlando for one week. Yeah, that's right. No kids, some kids, nobody, just David and I for one week. So it is going to be a different trip. It's going to be a very um, budgeted trip. Um, it's going to be a very cheap and cheerful trip. Um, just purely for the fact we have got another trip out, trip announced, trip booked for July, and that is our big main family holiday. And we have got obviously the full works going on there, full Disney over in the July trip, which will probably be a trip announcement for later on and closer to the time. But this one, it's just one week. Um, we are staying at Universal's Endless Summer Resort and we're flying out with Virgin Atlantic. We got a cracking deal through Virgin Holidays. The day that the um, announced the borders were opening, before it was official, we had some, it was all a bit of a hype and a bit of a buzz around the community. We decided to book the holiday. We'd been looking at it for a while and I am so glad we did it. We thought, right, well, maybe we could wait, maybe we shouldn't wait. Maybe we should just like hang, save the money and hang out till closer to the time. And I'm so glad we didn't because the prices have skyrocketed since we booked it. So we did get a really good deal. Um, so staying in uh, Universal Endless Summer, which is one of their, um, it's kind of supposed to be a budget kind of hotels, but it looks incredible from what we've seen from the vlogs out there. They, the rooms look just really cool, really amazing. Basic rooms, but what more do you need? Um, and the theming looks fantastic as well. So we're not going to do a full full on Disney, full on Universal, because this trip is not about that for us. Well, for us, for me. The trip is mainly about me running the Disney Marathon. Finally, I get to run the Disney Marathon. If you saw a trip announcement for 2021, I did a trip announcement and I was supposed to be running the Disney Marathon in January 2021. And unfortunately, because of that stuff, um, it got cancelled. I got a ref full refund on it. We hadn't booked any trip yet, or we just booked the marathon. Um, so we, ah, oh, that's a lie. I am so confused about where we were with our trips. We did book a trip for that. We were able to move it. And that's the July family holiday because the kids were supposed to be coming. Um, this one, uh, we have booked the, I booked the marathon separately again because I got a full refund for that because obviously the borders weren't open for the UK residents so they were able to give us a full refund. I wasn't allowed to change it to a virtual run which is what a lot of the Americans did. Um, full refund, all my money back, any merch that I purchased I got my money back for that which is great. Um, I had to rebook the marathon again. Um, marathon cost, I can't remember. Um, it's a couple of hundred dollars for the marathon and I will leave the, um, see how, actually how much it costs down below. And there's lots of different packages you can purchase. I would ideally have loved to have done the Dopey, but the Dopey is over $600. So the Dopey, if you don't know, if you're not into running or don't know anything about Run Disney, you do the 5K, you do a 10K, a half marathon and a full marathon in the whole weekend. And it starts on Friday to Sunday. I know it sounds excessive. But a lot of people run walk it, so it's not as bad. A lot of people walk the 5K. Um, but it was over $600 and the borders weren't still open at the time and I couldn't justify that money because there was no guarantee I'd get it back. Um, 
yeah, there was no guarantee to say that I'd get that money back. So that is a lot of money to lose in case I didn't. So I am just doing the half marathon. So the plans that have been final so far are just the marathon. We fly out on the Friday. Um, we're there for Saturday for the expo and obviously I'll just have to take it a little bit easy because I'll be running the marathon on the Sunday and su Sunday is the marathon day. It starts at about half five in the morning. So luckily we'll still probably be in UK time, which is great for us. And then we've got the rest of the time ahead of us where we can just do what we want to do. People are like, oh my God, you're doing it at the start. Will you not be tired? The last few marathons I've done, I've been fine. Fingers crossed as long as I don't get injured. And I'm sure I won't because I'll be stopping. I'll be taking pictures. I'll be enjoying the atmosphere, the bits in between the parks that I won't be running. Sorry, that I'll be running. Um, and the bits in the parks, I'll just be enjoying myself. Um, there's a big stop with characters, have meet and greets. Um, obviously, David will be on the route as well, so I'll stop and, and chat. It's not about a time, it's not about a pace, it's not about getting a PB, it's just about enjoying it. And it's something I've wanted to do forever. And I'm so grateful for that. I think we're gonna do one day in Disney probably Magic Kingdom. Um, the kids have told us explicitly that we are not allowed to go to Hollywood Studios. We are not allowed to go to um, Star Wars Land and Toy Story. We're not allowed to visit this restaurant. And we're not allowed to go to this place. So they've given us a massive list of instructions of what we can't do and a, a massive list of things that they want us to bring back. Uh, Rice Krispie Cakes, Goofy Candy are among many of the things they want us to bring back. They are devastated they can't come with us. Initially in 2021, we were going to take them out of school for a week just because of everything that happened with the pandemic. Um, I felt that taking them out of school for one week would not do them any harm. But this year is Emily's final year at high school and she has mock exams and exams and it's just gonna be intense and I don't want her to miss out on any school at all. So that is why we, the kids aren't coming with us. We may be gonna do a day at Universal if you would do one day Universal, which park would you pick? Would you pick Universal Studios or would you pick Islands of Adventure? I quite fancy doing probably Universal. I think David fancies doing Islands of Adventure, but the kids have said we can't do Harry Potter. So I think we'll probably be able to get into the Wizarding World in Universal because they've been there or Emily's been there, but they were very, very, very young when they went, but they don't really want us to do Harry Potter and not experience that without them. They certainly don't want us to go on Hagrid's without them for the first time. But who knows? We may be doing a trip up to NASA. Um, it, like I said, it, it's not going to be full on Disney. We're going to um, experience life outside the parks. Maybe go to a national park. I know we're only there for seven days, so time is limited. But there's a few places we want to go. So nothing is finalised yet, apart from we're flying with Virgin Atlantic. We're going in economy. No premium economy this time. Can't afford it. Simple as. It's expensive to go to Florida, especially to go twice in a year. So economy all the way um, and on the way back unless I can earn enough points um, via my online points um, thing. What's it called? E-rewards. E-rewards. I do e-rewards to get points which then I convert into um, Virgin Air Miles and then I also do Tesco club card points and they also get uh, converted into um, flying points as well. So unless I get enough points of them, we are not going to be travelling premium economy or for upper class or anything like that because they were astronomically priced. Um, endless summer resort for seven nights. Um, we were contemplating staying on a DVC property for one night through DVC rental points. We'd have to see how the budget goes and whether I'd do any more overtime in that time, but we'll just have to see. Definitely, probably, more than likely, one day at Disney and one day at Universal. Um, full on Magic Kingdom, my road drop to fireworks is what I'm aiming for. Um, have you got any tips or hints about or where to go outside of the parks? Um, can you recommend anything that you think would be interesting for us to go and see? Um, please leave any comments down below. Have you got any up and coming trips booked? Um, are you really excited? What's your countdown? Our current countdown is 55 sleeps. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. But I haven't even started packing. I don't even get me started on everything else. We've got insurance, which we've booked. Um, we've got a year's family insurance. We've got passport sorted. We've got Esther sorted. We just need to sort out the COVID swabs. And yeah, everything else is sorted. Except the packing list. I don't even know what to start taking. The one thing I will be taking, but only one pair of ears this time, are these, these fabulous ears that I got from Shop Dizzy to celebrate the 50th. I didn't know what ears to pick. 
and then I saw these on the Shop Disney website. They are the lounge fly ears and they are incredible. And these will be one pair that I'll be taking with me. Just one this time. Um, so please leave any comments down below. Don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. Sub subscribe to the channel if you don't already because it really, really, we really, really appreciate it. It helps the channel and leave any comments down below and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.